Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the review of round 16 of the German Bundesliga. Yeah, we have only uh, Germany because Austria is already in the winter break. However, there's a slight update here. Uh, last coach Wieland has received his contract extension. He was an interim manager and now he's taking over. My personal feeling about this is so and so. I think he didn't do a bad job and I think it's maybe not bad to let him continue. Uh, but I wouldn't have given him a contract extension until 24, um, but you know. Uh, I want to give him a chance and see if he can turn it around because he really got thrown in at the deep end. And that's why, yeah, we see also a black glass shirt up there. As I realized, yes, I have only um, 10 proper Bundesliga teams. I have Bremen, who are in the second Bundesliga. So since I have 13 spots here, yeah, I have 11. I have 10 Bundesliga teams and I'm wearing curl double, who fortunately had the biggest move in terms of expectations. So I can wear both of these and they won. So yeah, I need to a little bit freshen up on my Bundesliga stuff back there on the background to uh, have a few more options. And yes, this is one of the tasks for next year for sure. In any case, uh, I would say we go through Germany. I actually saw one ga game live and then I saw a couple of highlights where I can tell a, li a little bit more. I mean, the first result up there is, of course, uh, the Southern Derby, if you want, between Stuttgart and Bayern. I really long for the times when this was actually a proper duel between two teams. Yes, always Bayern a little bit better, but this was actually when I grew up in the nine, the nine, this was one of those matches to look forward to. However, Bayern most of the time won. Uh, this time it was a no contest. <laughs> and Stuttgart is not doing well and Bayern is just flying high to the 10th in a row, which kind of makes the Bundesliga a little bit boring, to be honest. Uh, but there are other stories around that make it interesting, fortunately. But it was a hat-trick by Gnabry and two goals by Levon Lewandowski, who were assisted by Gnabry. So uh, it was the Serge Gnabry game, who actually had a very quiet uh, period. There's also, of course, um, Joshua Kimmich is still out, or Joshua Kimmich is his, uh, he's his called in uh, Germany. Uh, He's still out uh, due to Corona. He got vaccinated now. So yeah, but I, I guess this whole period where Bayern seemingly was vulnerable is gone and Bayern is not vulnerable anymore and uh, well cruising to their next title. However, you might see that. Uh, cruising, all, I mean, a big win for Bielefeld over Bochum that kind of keeps them a little bit uh, in the relegation battle because Bielefeld was kind of tailing off a bit. A uh, huge win also for Mainz over Hertha. Hertha actually having been done really well under the new coach, but um, this time around it was Mainz who just uh, took them apart uh, with uh, Li Jingzong, uh, Huck, uh, then Widmer right after the half and then a very late goal uh, by Boetius give Mainz a 4-0 lead and Mainz is kind of in a way, the team of 21 in, Germ in Germany, I mean, they were uh, surefire relegation uh, candidates uh, late in 2020. And ever since that turned turn around, they really had, had had a run doing very, very, very well. Uh, so they turned turn, turn around from a bad point. Uh, Wolfsburg, however, this is now the sixth uh, competitive game in a row that they lose. Yes, there were Champions League games in there. But I think it was late November the last time that they won. So uh, while Kofeld came in and uh, in, at first seemingly turned, turned, turned around, uh, the team is still on the bottom. Now, if you have uh, seen at least the highlights of this, this was a rather even affair where uh, Wolfsburg twice had the lead and the uh, Metzger uh, brothers, both of them were playing together, uh, really giving Wolfsburg a boost. But then um, uh, the older brother, I think, had to come off. And that and and that kind of then broke a little bit the flow of the game for Wolfsburg. So they took the lead in the eighth minute. Then uh, Modest with a really weird, weird goal. Where, uh, it was nicely assisted uh, by I think Duda, uh, who plays on all on on kinds, who cannot pull it in the net, but on 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 the crossbar. And then it somehow finds its way to Modest, who can equalize. So um, and then uh, once. Wolfsburg took the lead again to throw Vejos, which was all Luca Bacchio. I mean, he was running down, down the sideline, uh, making some uh, magic moves in there, and then having the oversight to put the ball in Vejos' past path, not past path, uh, was rather impressive. So uh, it was 2-1 for Wolfsburg, 
And then, as I said, the game broke when uh, one of the Metro brother had to come out. Actually, both had to come out as far as I see. So uh, that kind of broke it. And then a really weird goal by Ut. Uh, that was, first of all, it was a shot that was deflected and it fell to Ut. And Bonner, who had just played for Köln, just doesn't pick up his his, 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 his fans. And Ut can just put it nicely into the net. And then Anthony Motest in the 89th scores the winner. Vejos having a big chance to equalize, so a, a kind of an unlucky loss for Wolfsburg, but hey, Köln finally get another win. They have not been winning a lot lately, only the derby against Gladbach. A similar story for the other crisis team in Ger in Germany, which is uh, Gladbach. I mean, this time they didn't lose by a lot, and uh, but still gave up three three goals. But this was a game that I, I, I actually wanted to watch because it was two Austrian coaches against Kanzler with, with a sub tanks. Text, you know, Adi Hütter going from Frankfurt to Gladbach now being in uh, some trouble, although that uh, the club is uh, fully behind him. But it, it got to be also said that the Frankfurt fans were chanting Hütter raus, so Hütter out, which I found funny because the Gladbach fans were not quite, but they are, but the Frankfurt fans still haven't forgiven him because ever since Hütter announced Frankfurt were clear on fourth spot, if you remember, at the end of last season, they were cruising. And then he announced that he's going to Gladbach and Frankfurt fell out of the, champ cha the, the Champions League. I think this is something that has not been forgotten. Uh, and while Frankfurt was the slightly better team, uh, at least to begin with, um, it was Gladbach who took the lead through Neuhaus. And then the game really was meandering. I mean, I watched, but there was not much happening in, in, in terms of goal mouth scenes or anything else. Uh, and then suddenly Boré uh, completely, I mean, uh, Gladbach wanted to play a player play from the back, Lind Lindstrom intercepts, uh, pulls it to Boré, it's not offside, 1-1 one, one just before the half. That was basically it from the first half. Second half, Lindstrom uh, scores the go-ahead goal for, uh, for, for Frank from the 50th. Then they give a penalty, that's Ben Savaini after a lengthy review, uh, converts in 54th, and then Kamada almost from the kickoff again scores and makes it 3-2 these were really crazy five minutes that unfortunately i didn't see <laughs> it, it, it it was so funny i mean whenever i, I sat down to watch again we, we had dinner um and i missed basically uh i want to say three and a half half goals because the the one one i also uh only saw from the, <laughs> the side in the way so yeah, and as soon as I said, I said down, the only thing I saw was a, a totally unnecessary yellow red for Tuta. Uh, I think that Da Costa with a rather high challenge uh, on to, um, who was it? Uh, I think it was Turam, where he he, he, he was, was, was almost basically kicked the ball out and hit Turam ahead. Could have also given him a red, but there was not really much coming. And I always had the finger Frankfurt was closer to the 4 2 than the 3 2. On the other side, the game was even, even after that. I think a winner was not really deserved in that one. So, yeah, uh, Gladbach still la languishing in, 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 in a way. The big duel, of course, uh, nominated from the table between Le Le Leverkusen and Hoffenheim was going Leverkusen's way most of the time with Patrick Schick scoring two like they had in Frankfurt. Uh, they had a 2 nil lead, although this time it was already in the 63rd. However, in the last 10, 10 minutes, Hoffenheim pulled it, pulled it back through Stiller and then a, a crazy strike by Dabur, giving it a 2-2. A result that I think was not really in the cards for most of the time, but you know... Uh, Hoffenheim kind of cementing this fourth uh, spot because Freiburg cannot get any, any, anything but also Leverkusen was not being uh, able to challenge Dortmund who took a while to really make this uh, a, um, you know a one-sided score scoreline yes they had a goal disallowed Haaland scores a penalty in the first half but it took way too late late goals by uh, Haaland and Marlen uh, to really make it convincing so yeah that's where things go. Uh, so we have with that that uh, Bayern are now for sure the halfway Herbstmeister. Herbstmeister is called, so uh, the winter champion. Uh, although it's called fall champion more, more, more or less because we have Herbstmeisterschaft, we have Frühjahrsmeisterschaft. So uh, the fall championship and the spring championship, although it's one, champ it's one championship in any case. Um, but yeah, uh, at the moment, it seems to be pretty clear that uh, the, the only question is whether Lyle, Lyle Leipzig can pull it back in a way. Uh, the next round, I think the most interesting game is probably Frankfurt against Mainz in many ways, because that's a local derby. Uh, Hofheim against Gladbach, you know, 
I didn't think, but this is interesting because of the crisis mode that Klapp Klapper is in. Um, and then uh, Freiburg Leverkusen, I think a sound against both, uh, yeah, maybe Köln Stuttgart, no, not more, but Freiburg Le Le Leverkusen. Freiburg really wants to go back to the total for they better get something from there. So yeah, that was it from me from Germany uh, in this midweek. We have one last and then there's a break. I think I want to do maybe then one more video, video to just look back on how things went statistically, but uh, let's see how that will go. Any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please drop a line below if you want to add anything to what happened in the Germany. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.